In a previous video, I gave you an overview of CMMC and explained how it's a massive push by the Department of Defense or DOD to ensure that its contractors handle the information that they deal with on a daily basis in a more secure manner. I also explained that even though the regulation isn't going to be in effect until 2026, contractors need to start working towards CMMC now if they want to be able to bid on any future DOD contracts. If you haven't seen that video, you should check it out, but only after you've watched this one. Anyway, the majority of DOD contractors will fall under the first three levels of CMMC based on how much controlled unclassified information or CUI they deal with on a daily basis. The next question then is, what controls do you need to actually follow? Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics and today I'm going to explain all 17 CMMC level 1 controls. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. One of the biggest takeaways to know about CMMC Level 1 is that process maturity isn't assessed. They aren't assessed because the implementation of the practices laid out within it dictates the process itself. As far as the practices at this stage go, all that's required is a focus on basic cyber hygiene. Luckily, the Accreditation Board defines that as following the safeguarding requirements as noted in 48 CFR 52.204-21. Now, although 48 CFR 52.204-21 provides actionable implementation steps for level one contractors, processes need to integrate cybersecurity within the culture of the organization. In other words, it's not something that only requires tick marks on an implementation checklist. Now that the explanation portion is out of the way, let's take a look at the required CMMC level one controls. The levels of CMMC determine the strictness of required safeguarding based on the sensitivity of the information processed down the supply chain. Each area of compliance that's required exists in categorized buckets of controls called domains. Now there are 17 domains in total. Luckily, for level one contractors, only six of the 17 listed controls are required. Access control or AC, identification and authentication or IA, media protection, MP, physical protection, PE, system and communications protection, SC, and System and Information Integrity SI. The Access Control or AC domain focuses on the tracking and understanding of who has access to your systems and network. This includes user privileges, remote access, and internal system access. Luckily, the CMMC defines the AC controls that level one contractors must resolve. AC.1001, 002, 003, and 004. The Identification and Authentication or IA domain focuses on the roles within your organization. It synergizes with those access controls by ensuring that access to all systems and networks is traceable for reporting and accountability. There are only two IA control requirements for CMMC level one, IA.1.076 and 0.077. Media protection focuses on identifying, tracking, and ongoing maintenance of media. It also includes policies about protection, data, sanitation, and acceptable transportation. CMMC level one contractors have only one MP control to focus on and it deals with sanitation of media devices or MP.1.118. Physical protection is often an overlooked domain for many organizations. Sure, most places implement a sign-in process requiring card reader identification and access to certain portions of their location. Yet, not every organization supervises its visitors throughout their entire stay. PE helps organizations with that. CMMC level one contractors must focus on the following PE controls. PE.1.131, 132, 133, and 134. Communication is an integral part of every organization. Now that communication between employees needs to be secure so that no bad actor may eavesdrop and record sensitive data. This system and communication protection SC domain focuses on the implementation of boundary level defense on an organizational communication level. CMMC level one SC control requirements are SC.1.175 and 176. The last domain that relates to what's required by level one contractors is system and information integrity or SI. This domain focuses on the ongoing maintenance and management of issues within information systems. In other words, it enforces that organizations place efforts toward identifying malicious code placing ongoing protections on email and system monitoring. CMMC level one contractors must adhere to the following SI controls. SI.1.210, 211, 
212, and 213. Now, the introduction of CMMC in January of 2020 raised a lot of eyebrows. It's a massive effort by the DoD to ensure that their contractors and those contractors' supply chain vendors protect the information that they work with. Although CMMC Level 1 is where the majority of contractors will land, its control requirements are much more achievable than other levels. To continue contracting with the DoD, CMMC Level 1 contractors only need to satisfy 6 domains and 17 total controls. If you'd like to learn more about CMMC, reach out to eTactics. And you already made this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.